mental health. Since Ohio did away with the mental health, and we have almost every, every one of those shootings was a mental health case. And today, police officers have very limited places to take people to be held. You take them to the hospital, they only hold them so long. You take them to crisis centers, 24 hours. There is such a lack of places to help people with mental health. And if you look at the issue of mental health, we're paying for what the decision made in the 80s was today due to that fact. So what would be your position on bringing back some hospitals or areas to be able to deal with mental health issues? Because not only were both of those kids, between them and the, the armed guard, I mean our army, Navy, they have failed us in reporting the mental health issues associated with uh, the people that have committed these mass crimes too. Mental health is a key factor in this whole discussion. And if unless we take on the big factor, it's just so hard to get down to that issue without looking at it. One of, one of the things we have been really intentional about on this campaign is, is getting in the trenches and getting in the front lines. And this is one area that when you get up close to it, you see just how underfunded it is, just how devastating those decisions in the 80s were. Um, you know our de facto mental health system in the state of Ohio today is our prison system. It's our prison system. That just doesn't make sense. We've, I've done more ride-alongs with deputies and, uh, and, and law enforcement than I can count. And one of the things I ask for every time is to go into the jail at night, hopefully on a weekend. And the burdens that those corrections officers, those police departments, those uh, law enforcement agencies are dealing with on top of uh, trying to keep our streets safe, having to provide the mental health backstop for, for everything, for what should be a mental health system that doesn't exist. Uh, you see it up close and personal when, when you ride along with uh, Sheriff Myers deputies here in Stark County. And we've got to, you're absolutely right, Kim, we have got to get back to a place where we are investing in mental health and people actually have treatment options because the long-term cost of, of not doing it, and it's, it's becoming obvious today, um, and, and it, it is way more expensive <coughs> not treating it than it ever would be treating it. Yeah.